So how we're going to solve this one now, this structure is given to us. Ignore that for now. But we're going to count the carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, we look for the, for the functional groups. And you have a methyl group here, a methyl group here. And over here you have a propyl group. But here's the thing. You want to, you want to start numbering this in a way where, or you're going to start naming in alphabetical order. But we know now the end of the name, because there's 10 carbons, is going to be decane. Okay, that was terrible, so let me see. So it's going to be decane at the end of the name. But we're going in alphabetical order. So we have a propyl group, but we have methyl groups. M comes before P, so we're going to do the methyls first. So on carbon 2 and carbon 4, you have a methyl group, so it'll be 2,4-dimethyl, because there's two. And then now, what you're going to want to do is do another dash, and now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next functional group is on carbon 6. But here's the thing. Carbon, the, the functional group on carbon 6 is a propyl group, right? And so, problem is, a propyl group usually looks like this. So, let's just say the carbon here, where, this, where the propyl group is attached, is this over here. So, you have the carbon in the chain, and then the propyl group will be this. A CH2, a CH2, and a CH3. Only in this case, each CH2 instead has a CH3 group attached, a methyl group. So, it's going to be 6, and then you count the carbon number, how many carbons there are on the chain. There's 1, 2, 3 carbons, but on the first carbon and second carbon, right? So you're going to go 1, 2, because on the first carbon and second carbon, you have yet another dimethyl or you have a methyl in carbon 1 and a methyl in carbon 2 so it's dimethyl okay propyl okay and then so wait, so so far we have this 2 4 dimethyl 6, 1, 2, dimethyl, propyl, and then that's when we put decane, right? Decane meaning that there are 10 carbons in total, and the A and E, or so it would be dec, and then A and E, so decane. But DEC means 10 carbons in the, in the structure. A and E means single bonds um, between them all. They have an alkene single bond structure. Um, so yeah, that would be essentially how you, um, how you solve this. That's, uh, that's about, that's it right there. That's the answer.